Oh, I didn't see you there. Just trying to tinker with a few things here and there, getting my hands busy and whatnot. Why are you doing this, Bina? I hear you ask. Well, unless you live under a Goron rock. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is coming this May. While Nintendo has been pretty careful about what they reveal about the game, you can't stop a true gamer from speculating. So when the game decides to drop anything new, we can't help but flock in to see what the hubbub is all about. And all that hubbub came from when Nintendo released a gameplay demonstration with producer Eiji Aonuma. Hello everyone. Showcasing two new main features in this open world setting. Fusion and Ultra Hand. Simply put, Fusion is the ability for Link to combine weapons or equipment with other in-world items to enhance or create entirely new creations. Like attaching a spear to a stick to increase its range or utilizing a monstrous eyeball to create a homing arrow. Ultra Hand, on the other hand, is the ability that lets Link use a special glue of sorts to create improvised structures and even vehicles. Gone are the days where you try to cheese the system like in Breath of the Wild. Players are free to explore and create in their own unique ways. And given little glimpses the last trailer showed us, Link on a built army tank and Link fearing people on a built horse cart, there must be a ton of options to explore. So I've been here for days, trying to stretch my creative muscles to see if I can come up with anything special for those combos. And here are some on the top of my head. An elemental weapons rework or expansion. By combining a weapon with an elemental choo-choo, this is probably the most useful combination to keep in mind. Aonuma displayed this ability when he combined an ice choo-choo jelly with an arrow to create long-range ice attacks. We are assuming with the abundance of choo-choos in the map, we will be able to have a hold on lightning, fire, and perhaps wind powers to imbue into our weapons and tools. Imagine the possibility of mixing two elements together. This effectively makes elemental combat an easier to access feature, which solves the problem problem of fighting against elemental foes and just how rare and delicate these powerful weapons are. The Club Meringue. Combining a blunt weapon with a boomerang? It's like your own personal Mjolnir. Thor is not the only worthy, beautiful, blonde prophesized hero that can have their magical powers returned to him on demand. Having a Club Boomerang hybrid would make the battlefield interesting, allowing Link to level the playing field by having a long range and short range weapon at the ready in one item. While close up melee is adrenaline inducing, sometimes the best tactic is not to be up all over the enemy's face. Hopefully, with a boomerang implement, its durability will increase. Now we just have to train it to return turn it to you specifically, we'll, we'll work on that. A Hylian segue. Putting together wheels from what you can assume come from the Zonai, a box to pop yourself onto, and a steering wheel joystick thing, you'll be cruising through Hyrule in style. It's not so far-fetched anymore as well as the latest trailer showed us how far this feature could go. Tears of the Kingdom's focus lingers long on the mysterious Zonai, so I'm confident there'll be an abundance of various parts to drop from the sky. But the thing is, I can't shake the feeling that I'm not stretching my wings enough, that I'm not truly letting my creative juices flow. Surely there's something that's different than- ah! Oh, oopsie. I see. Well, you know, why think outside the box when you can destroy the box? Death be upon ye cuckoos. Witness, an avian cavalry of the most ferocious and atrocious of creatures, cuckoos. Are not these Hylian cluckers one of the most feared creatures to ever roam Hyrule? They are the most vengeful of species in the entire franchise. If you hurt them though, they will storm the skies and hunt you down until you perish. What vigilance! Having them in your arsenal will render you with a great advantage. A sword chicken with extra beak damage. A clucking shield that screeches at your enemies. A clucking bow that launches your feathered ally towards your faraway foes. You will be the most feared pet owner in all of the land. Flying horse chariot. We already saw it. Link could build a cart. Now witness. Who needs to dream of a mystical pegasus when you can create something better? Why not expand the horse's horizons? Why limit the equine beast to land when they can take to the skies? Attach Zonai fans on either side of your horse's saddle and even the cart and you'll be singing the ride of the Valkyries and charging into battle from the skies. Surpass towering mountains and evade lingering bokoblin foes who pollute the roads of Hyrule. From this vantage point, you can even drop bombs upon unassuming enemies on the ground. And this principle does not stop with a horse. No, you can use them on a goat. You can use them on a fox. You can use it on a chicken. Hylian Kaiju Supreme. 
If we are encouraged to think deeper, then why not take the infinitesimal plunge? By the end of Breath of the Wild, the Divine Beasts have been freed from Ganon's poison clutches. Now that these gargantuan automatrons are allied with us, and we have enough magical super glue, imagine the havoc we could unleash, the foes we could take on across land, sea, and sky as the beasts unify into one majestic battle kaiju! This amalgamation of divine power and technology will have everything. The light from Vamedo, the water guns of Varuta, the lightning feet of Vanaboris, and the fiery rock scaling feet of Varudania. It would be the most ultimate of mounts, the greatest of weapons. Once you spend more than 24 in game hours gluing them together, let's see Ganon try to stop us. But wait, elemental beasts fused together. We've been looking at enhancing the things and creatures around us, but if we look inward, why not enhance ourselves? Water. Earth, fire, air. Long ago, the people of Hyrule lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when Calamity Ganon attacked. <coughs> Only Link, champion to Princess Zelda, could stop him. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed and Link woke from his slumber. And although he is not wearing any clothes and fights with a flimsy old branch, I believe Link can save the world. We don't need anything to help us when we ourselves are powerful. Link is but a vessel to channel power and project power. We could override the game and speedrun to our heart's content. It will be the most amazing! Uh, oh. <clears throat> uh, wow. Wha- What happened? Uh, I guess that's all I could think about for possible combinations in Tears of the Kingdom. I'll fix that later. Truly, the game's potential is boundless, with the power to put multiple items together to creatively solve obstacles in your way. The world is your oyster, land, sea, and sky, as you embark on an epic journey to find your Princess Zelda. The last trailer truly had us on the edge of our seats, with so many things to uncover still once we get our hands on the game. But in the meantime, we hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps sparked a bit of creativity within you. Hope you had fun! This is Bina, logging off.